All right. Let's get into this New England joint. Caleb Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. All right. Okay. Almost got him. Almost got him, bro. Almost got him. <laughs> I guess it's that Jaden Daniels thing right here. Or Michael Penix. We down on him, so he out, huh? Yeah, I've been saying it the whole offseason, man. I think New England needs a, a, a game changer at the quarterback position. Uh, I know Penix got the arm. I just feel like with the lack of weapons, lack of everything on, on this, they need something that, dynamic. That particular team. That particular yeah, team. the Patriots. They need yeah. something dynamic. The Patriots, yeah, that particular team. I don't disagree. I don't, I don't, I, if, if Jaden Daniels goes there, I'm absolutely okay with that over Penix because of what, like Ellie was saying, in terms of the, the lack of talent they have at the perimeter. Um, I'm okay with him going there. So y'all, y'all both on board with Daniels. Yeah. What we, you, we, you we, trying to throw in? What you trying to I, I mean, you listen, man, I, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm trade down type of guy. That's just me. Yeah. You know, that, that was my, my other option that I had was, you know, you and, and it's been it's been out there. The rumble has been out there that New England might be the trade down candidate. The quarterback position is so big, like, well, you yeah. trade down and maybe get a Penix Jr. Is that is that what you think, of Juice? Or or do you do you trade for Justin Fields and stay it and then trade down? Because you both mentioned it, right? And and I'm okay. I'm okay with with selecting Jane Daniels here. But you, you both mentioned that you feel like this particular team, this organization, needs an injection of a more dynamic playmaker at the position you understand what i'm saying you can obviously go with jane daniels um if you're still looking for that playmaking gene certainly justin fields could be part of, of that equation mm -hmm. um I, I i don't hate the idea of of waiting on a penix i don't i don't hate the idea you know what i'm saying but we are we are a democracy here i just wanted to lay out we have a litany of options here yeah i, I kind of want to do something different the, the yeah. trade down, trade for Justin Fields. So, where are we trading down to? That's the question. Do do we do we do business with the Giants? So, uh, so let me ask: Do we do business what, with the Falcons? What what receiver? Are, are we good with the top three receivers? Whoever we get, whoever falls there. I personally am. I personally I'm am. It. I'm good with it. Too. Um, I'm good with it either. So I think the yeah. Giants. Yeah, Gucci. We're saying that we're cool with with Marvin Hansen Jr. Neighbors or Roma Dunce once you trade down to number six to New York because you, you you're getting a little bit more um, under the Christmas tree if you do it this way versus just I, I, going. Th there's a lot of work to be done here. I, I think yeah. I think that's what's getting lost in translation, particularly if you have those receivers relatively close. There's a lot of work to be done here on this team. What are you looking for in immediate draft capital back? Do we do we want one of these two second round selections here? Yeah, we want all everything, bro. <laughs> we want it all. We, we, we want we want what we, we want a first next year. We want we want it all, bro. All right. So a first next year for three spots. Ooh. Sheesh. You wish you yeah, that's too that's much. A, that's the that's the going right, bro. If you want to trade up for your quarterback in the top three. Got to come with that first for next year, D-Kid. D-Kid, are we robbing your team, bro? Yeah, we robbing them, man. <laughs> of course. <laughs> bro, bro. We're robbing you, bro. Ski mask and shades, D-Kid. Ski you want mask and shades. <laughs> <laughs> D-Kid said he want 104, bro. Nah, bro, we're not doing it. Nah, you can't get 104. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's make Run this it. trade right here. Yep. They traded up for Marvin Harris. <laughs> <laughs> so the quarterback's still there. They are. Jay Daniel's still so, there. Yeah, but you're about to give there. up Rome here. You're about to give up Rome here, though. Yeah, but I'm we not giving quarterback. up Rome, bro. So you're saying you're saying grab Jay Daniels here. That's what I'm saying. So you you wouldn't take a jet, you wouldn't trade for Justin Fields and grab you a Rome right here. That's what I'm saying. I like I, I like that too. <laughs> I like that too. Because if you get Daniels here, you you kind of lose out on that that top that three Fields? receiver at that, that next tier. Now now you I, you, you, uh, you messing with the next tier. Neighbors off the board exactly. and Harrison yeah. Jr. is off the board, so Rome will be okay. I see what you're saying. I. Juice, man. I know you like the trade, bro. Get the hell out of here. No, bro. I'm not even Stop. talking about the trade. Okay. I'm not talking about the trade. I, I I'm just thinking about. 
I think I think we were all on board with with taking whatever of the three receivers, receivers was available at six, but we weren't anticipating Jaden we exactly being available. Bro. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Jaden Daniels. But I get what Drew's saying. You get the the one of the top receivers in this class, and then a Justin Fields. You know, like Justin Fields. I think him and Jaden Daniels are, you know, I, probably I probably yeah. have Justin Fields ahead of Jaden Daniels right now. I know it's uh you know the rookie contract. You know that's a big thing also, but so. So and you kind of said it, but it's 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 Justin Fields and Rome versus Jaden Daniels and whatever receiver we can get. What's our next pick? Thirty four. Uh, Thirty four. And that's assuming that somebody's there, right? That we like. That's kind yeah. of the comparison. So I'm a, I'm, I'm way more comfortable with Justin Wait, Fields. And, with Justin Fields. Yeah. With Justin yeah. Fields. Okay. I'm with you, Drew. Right. Let's do it. Shane Daniels to the Falcons. Falcons. Bo Nix to the, um, the Minnesota. Think anybody drafting Penix? Uh, Let me see if Penix lasts the 34. Man. Scroll, scroll that, down. Let me see. That Penix Rome connection back again. <laughs> we might be able to pull it off, bro. Let's see. Put them back together. The Steelers, might, maybe? The the um Rams might. It's the Rams, the Steelers. And that's about it, bro. Let's see. Let's and see what way. happens. I mean, we, we, we got Justin Fields in our back pocket. We got Justin yeah, Fields in our back pocket. We but are, are we comfortable with, with Penix at 34 if he's available? I'm okay I'm with, comfortable it, with that. Yeah. All right. I mean, you get two what, additional what, what, years. You get two additional years on a rookie contract as well. Do we try to get the 32nd to get that extra year, that extra rookie year? I, I think rookie. I think that's okay. I think I think that's a reasonable – Move is, is to move into the, the bottom of the first round. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, Penix to the Rams. God damn. Oh, it's okay. We gonna get fields. It's good. We got fields. We got fields. Don't worry. It's good. We're good. We'd had to get we'd had to give up a lot more to jump up there. Yeah, that's, yeah that'd have been a lot. So it's fine. All right. Damn, bro, so no, slide. no, no Washington connection. Unfortunately, the, the Rams hey. decided to invest in Penix long term. I, it, to me, I'm okay with it at this point. You, you got to bring in a veteran. You, you you have to bring in a veteran, but I'm okay with it now. Hey. Me personally, for my money, I'm, I'm gonna go get Justin Fields. That's just me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with the Fields man. Also, I would say the two next year and maybe the four this year. All right. Let's okay. try some of that. Let's and then we go right. get our tackle now. Give me that. Now we're going to discuss. Oh, tunnel? No, yeah, no, bro. no, no discussion here. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. Let's go, bro. So I can play. Let's go. All right. It's funny because, you know, I always talked about Isaiah Wynn when we mentioned Foul Tunnel, and New England is who drafted Isaiah Wynn. I know a lot of injuries happened with his career. He was the guy right. that everyone wanted to move inside. Uh, we liked him outside. You know, he was he, he did decent there until, until the injuries, but you know, to get a foul tunnel that has the same kind of uh I guess profile, you know, that's an interesting pick right there for the Patriots. Um, what do you think we go here next, man? So now we got a receiver, a quarterback, a tackle. Mm -hmm. Bro, I, I really think the team is more off. I'm, I'm almost going another receiver, bro. Cause I'm yeah, looking yeah, at you know, right the same thing, man. Like get get more offense. Get more you offense. Got, Devontae Parker, you got Kendrick Bourne, you got Jalen Reger, you got um Matthew Slater, Keyshawn Boutte. I mean, that man ain't playing next year, bro. Okay, hey, the man. only receiver I think is a, a mainstay is Demario it's, Douglas in the slot. In the slot. And then yeah. we got Roma Dunce. So I wouldn't be mad at another receiver. I'm not sure with the next pick, or do we wait a little bit for another receiver and go we, grab we some defensive players? Um, nothing's changing defensively. I, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't imagine because of um, Jared Mayo. That man, he hiring a bunch of um, former players as coaches, bro. I don't know if you've seen that. I think High Tower. Yeah, High Tower. High Tower. High Tower. And, he, and he brought in. Um, I think he's a Tycon Underwood as their receivers coach. I think it was one more player he did that with. He's at Marvin coach. Harrison Jr. D kid. That's why. <laughs> thought you gonna get the quarterback, man. I thought that's what y'all wanted, but got Jake that says. McMillan or Corley, and then we got Gucci, Sam, Malachi, or Leggett. In terms of if there's if those receivers are left, right? We we got we got sixty eight and seventy here. Mm. All right, 
So we go defense and, and, and I see Edwin Cooper. I see Cameron Kitchens on the board. Like, what are we doing? Ooh. We, we, we were talking offense, though. We were talking receivers because we're looking at the receivers of this team. We don't think it's good, bro. We just that's all we saying, bro. That's all we saying, bro. That's all we saying. Like, what I mean, no doom say, bro. What you mean? Y'all twisted yeah, he the arm, right, we no doom say, man. I know, go, but man. I, I'm bro, but we, 15 we said the, targets a game, bro. Let's listen. go. Listen, Let's part go. of the issue with this team, I know. though, right? I know. Okay. I'm, I'm aware. Right. I'm aware. But we have we have two picks here. We got two picks. We'll see. And three see, selections. See what do. I had to pay the light bill, so. Okay. Appreciate you doing uh, that. So. What are we doing with Kyle Duggar? We bringing him back? No, you got to come back, bro. That's, yeah, I don't right. think that man trying to come back, bro. He trying to get trying paid, paid. Paid, paid. Well, it ain't Belichick running the show back. no more. Bro, he might get paid, bro. That might be a different way to do business over there now that Belichick out the door. Talking about he wants to spend another, money. He's a pass rusher too. You know, Judon, well. he's doing his thing, but you know, he's getting a little older. Need some help. Um, yeah, need some help too. Yeah. Detroit so trying I, to trade up right here. What do they ask? What do they? What do they and they Seattle, need? by the way. What's on the board? The ballers. Doorless. 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 Yeah, that's that's, that's a who we for need. Boys. Yeah. That's a fit for them, man. Uh. I like Doorless. You want to grab him at 70? Okay. Let's grab him at 70. Let's lock that in. What What are the receivers? I just want to see the receivers on the board. Humor me, bro. Brandon Rice. Thrash. Mm. Corley. Okay. okay. Got receivers. You got receivers, bro. Okay. See, but the thing is, this is a, this is a, this is the conundrum. The two best players on the board is probably Kitchens and Edrian Cooper, right? All right. But then we're talking about Doorless and a receiver. We can't get them all. We, we got to make a decision. Well, I think Doorless, I think you got to grab Doorless. I don't think there's a discussion there. I think he's I'm a good fit. You. I think he's a lock-in. I think that's a lock-in at 70, right? So now it's, it's, it's why, why 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 not at 68? Because I think he'll be there at seventy. But but you think you're telling me that's the player that you 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 absolutely got to get here. He, he's locked in. I know what I'm saying he's locked in at seventy because I know I can get him at seventy. I'm not. I ain't, I ain't nervous. You, you don't. You don't think the ain't worried about sixty nine. You not worried about the Chargers? No, bro. I'm not scared, bro. All right, cool. <laughs> Tough guy, bro. All right. Tough guy. <laughs> we made this mistake last drive. What was the mistake we made? We we supposed to get somebody and then Keith Randolph. Keith Randolph. Keith we Randolph. made this mistake. Yeah, but, but that it was, was like, a lot I mean, more picks. Talk... That was yeah, a lot man. What are doing? Come on. Just one pick. One pick. You scared, Juice? I'm just saying, bro. Man. Bro, bro. If you scared, bro, I'm, just say you scared, bro. It's okay. I'm a, I'm a doorless guy, bro. Look, look <laughs> no, at Jake, no, dog. No. Look at Jake, man, with <laughs> the bad juju. Jake with the bad juju. <laughs> Bro, if you scared, you oh, say you scared, bro. You scared? So, do, yeah, money don't make money. Do we want two defenders here, or a receiver and a defender? That's the that's the uh, choice. Two defenders. And, what's my, the my next pick after two, this? My, my vote is two defenders. I what's want the next pick two, after this? I want two of three: Cameron Kitchens, Edrin Cooper, and Brandon Doorless. I want two of those three players. That's what I want. We we're gonna be able to find a receiver later, Drew. I know it ain't gonna be. Uh, I mean, Millen and Corley, but it's it's always good receivers. One thirty six. Okay, tell me a receiver there for you. All right, so 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 then he is the kid. That's what they they, 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 they just ignore. They just ignoring. No, nah, not they. That's, that's not they. It. That's Drew, bro. <laughs> I would get in doing this hair. <laughs> and then get in kitchen. I ain't scared, I bro. I am scared, bro. So so if I if we okay, all right, let's lose out on Bears for the defense right now. I gotta. Cam and Doorless. I'm with that. All right, let's do it. Doorless and Cam. Yo. No, don't switch it up. Can't Who does the Chargers need more? Who does the Chargers need more? <laughs> they need Doorless more, bro. I guess you got to play it smart, bro. I ain't scared. I'm not Who's scared. the highest ranked I guy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's the highest ranked guy? 54 is Kitchen. What's Doorless? I think he's 74. So, yeah, it's, it's Kitchen's first. All right. Yeah, bro. Mm, Andrew Cooper. See, ain't scared, bro. That's what running around scared, bro. What's <laughs> gonna <laughs> wait till Doris came off the board so you can say I told you? Let's go, bro. Buddy, I, I gamble for a living, bro. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little 
Little yeah, poker. Yeah. Let me stop. All right, let me, let me pause it up real quick. In, in a different life, I gamble for a living. All right, uh, McMillan went to Detroit, Rice to Atlanta. Okay. And okay. we don't pick for another 40 selections. Peyton Wilson went to um Steelers, bro. That might be – I like might be that. something. Yeah, it might be something. Well, he don't get hurt, you know. Malin, I lost Malachi, bro. Hurt. Oh, man, it's the PFF system, bro. Damn, Packers, bro. Oh, man, we hurt. Damn. What receivers out there? What receivers out there? It's still some good you ones. Got, you got Luke McCaffrey. You got Joshua Cephas. Isaiah Williams. Musa Muhammad out there. Man, this is wet, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you tried to stop it, but he couldn't stop it. It would... It would he would have to. We would have had to have traded, right? That was the only we way to, stop to blindly trade. The blindly trade without knowing who was Luke on. Luke McCaffrey would be a um, nice Patriot fit over there, huh? Let's let's do a quick recap here. All right, so we traded down because the Giants desperately wanted Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> Yo, we traded down <laughs> to six. Uh, took Roma Dunze. We we planned we planned on either selecting Penix at thirty four or trading for Justin Fields. Uh, wanted right. wanted to to give ourselves that flexibility. Penix went. To the Rams, I guess he's the the heir apparent to Stafford. We ultimately made a trade, including some additional draft capital in 2025, in order to acquire Justin Fields. Took Troy Fautanu, uh at the tackle position at 34, and then Cameron Kitchens, followed by Brandon Dorless in the third round. Plug and play starters, and we had a bit of a wait because the fourth round selection. We traded in order to acquire Justin Fields. So I had a bit of a wait. Here we are now on the clock at 136 in the fifth round. Um, I think another pass catcher, either a receiver, or we looked at that uh, tight end, or or maybe like a running back out of the backfield uh, to pair with Stevenson. Hey, listen, if you if you decided you wanted to draft Braylon Allen, I, I wouldn't argue. But – um. I, I guess from a pass catching perspective, yeah, that's not necessarily more. what you're looking for. Cody Schrader would give you. Yeah, Schrader, did a law. Oh. You know who we could get, bro? Our guy, bro. He's going to be at the end of this draft. Uh, Rasheen Ali. I was thinking Holker, maybe. I like Holker. Okay, I like that. Another weapon right there. Ben Sinnott. Sinnott uh, a- does some stuff in the pass game as well. Uh, so they, they do need another tackle. They have a lot of free agents. Tackle Trent Brown, yeah. free agent. Yeah, they do. A when was a free agent? I'm sure they would sign one of those guys. But Riley Reef is a free agent. I'm comfortable with with Blake Fisher and Javon Foster. I know a lot of people like Christian Jones. Is Rosa Garden? Is he on here? I'm yeah, he's at the him. bottom. At the bottom. He's at the bottom. Uh, the tackles. That's actually not a bad one. Ro- Rosa Garden is a good athlete, bro. Oh, he's a good he, showed me something. Yeah. He, he showed me something. But you I wouldn't what? take him over Fisher or Jones. Let's go, let's go Fisher. Yeah, right. let's go Fisher. Brandon mm. Allen went to the Charges. The Charges. That boy Harbaugh. Harbaugh, yeah. Harbaugh. Yeah. Harbaugh. Harbaugh. Yeah. Harbaugh. Yeah. Harbaugh. Yeah. Harbaugh. Yeah. You're going to put that quarterback on the center. Herbert going on the center. Boy, James Williams went to the Buffalo Bills, bro. We lost Hoker, I think. Yeah, I saw it. Anthony Johnson, Johnson right Cody Schrader, Schrader, and Benson. Not damn, Earth. damn, bro. Well, we're gonna be able to get our running backs. So let's see what tight ends looking like. Yeah, Theo, is Theo Johnson still there? Or he gone? Nope. Damn, tight bro. Ends there. Just get your Jaheim Bell, bro. Oh no, 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 Jared Wiley. Let me get my Jared Wiley, bro. Wiley, oh, you want Jaheim Bell? You want you want to fight for Jaheim Jaheim Bell? Well, he, he's more uh, explosive. We're looking for explosiveness in that New England offense. And we, we are. We are. This is true. What you saying, Juice? I'm okay with it. Okay. Bell, it is. Oh. Light up. Man, going to pick a seminal. Okay. I see you. You turn in the corner, man. I like that, bro. Just <laughs> <laughs> what you said. You turn in the corner. <laughs> Coming over to the dark side, I see. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, and we're going to get our running back unless somebody crazy on the board that shouldn't be there. Yeah, if he's available. 
Yeah, knowing this thing. Nah, Rashid Ali would be there. That was gonna be my 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 backup plan, Dylan Law. Who's that? Dylan Law. Man, Ali, man, Ali, that guy, bro. Yep, Raiders. Oh, oh, he went. Oh, come on, bro. Hey, Raiders. Serious? All right, recap it. it. Trade down, Brad Roma Dunze. We drafted somebody? No, not yet, Drew. Troy oh, Fatadu. <laughs> <laughs> I blink, bro. Troy Fatadu in the second round. Uh, Cameron Kitchens at Brandon Dorless. That's a butte right there in the third. Mm -hmm. uh, we did not have a fourth round selection. That was part of the package that we sent to acquire Justin Fields. Uh, early fifth round. Blake Fisher. Solidify that offensive line. And then most recently, Jaheim Bell. And DK said bad pass draft never. But we got we got ballers, bro. We got <laughs> Rome. We got Fields. We got Foul Tom. Nah, Cam nah, Kitchen, nah. Brandon Typ Dornis. Typical. On, nah, ain't no, ain't no Belichick in this room. Nah, bro. We got talent. What you want to do? Joy Jordan? Who else out there? Jordan you know, be a nice what? compliment in there. You already told you. I already told you. Trayvon Wallace. Bro. Oh, there go Rosengard right there. Still on the board. Game Hall. Hall. Devin Leary out here. He got some players still on here. Okay. Zion Nelson that fell from grace. That's Gotta it. make a decision. It. Decision time. I, I'm, with, I'm with Jawar Jordan. I'm with the running back out of Louisville. I like his burst. Uh, he gets skinny through the hole. I think he'd be a good compliment to Stevenson. And he can catch the ball. He got solid hands. He's not really routing guys up, but Got solid hands out the backfield. What you All saying, right. Drew? Drew? Drew, you want to make your case with ZTF? Yeah, that's the guy, bro. <laughs> Speed Come rushing. On. I need, I need more than that, bro. Come on. Good hands, quick, bro. bro it's not even <laughs> me. It's not me. It's not me. It's the audience, bro. Come on. It's the last pick. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You get, you get sleepy, bro. Nah, bro. I'm just, bro. I told you, bro. It's ZTF, bro. It's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Opposite hey. Braylon Trice, man. Hey. Now nah, we we can get the running back because the thing about ZTF, the man can't stay healthy, but save his life, bro. All right, Jawar Jordan is the pick here. Carson Steele is that the one we did the um the pre draft process? Yeah, on? He came from um, yeah. yeah. Where did he come Transfer. from? He came from Ball State. Ohio. I think it was Miles State. Or Ball State. Yeah, Ball State. Ball State. It's one of those things. And, and, right. and Justin Fields is in this draft, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's part of the class. So we trade down from three to six. The Giants absolutely had to have Marvin Harrison Jr. D. Kitt signed off on that particular trade. Uh, we were able to add a third-round selection in 2024 and a first round in 2025. Uh, decided that we need to prioritize, still, still prioritize the receiver position. Of course, there's a clear top three for us. Roma Dunze was available at six, so we selected him. Um, we thought perhaps, perhaps Michael Penix might might fall to us. There was a little conversation about Jane Daniels because, again, we, we expected him to be selected um, with the team trading up, but ultimately that wasn't the case. He lands in Atlanta. Troy Fautano comes in. You know, we, we slide him in. He's an immediate starter, um, a guy that I, I'd be perfectly fine taking the first 20 picks in the first round so um excellent value there cam kitchens I, i'm not going i'm not going wax because just check out the video on the channel brandon doyless that video is coming he's a cpgm favorite of ours the versatility that he offers along the defensive line is is special blake fisher to round out this offensive line and, and of course we, we brought a little later in the draft we, we tried to add some playmaking ability jaheem bell as far as being a vertical threat down the seam he can make a difference there and then Jawa jordan on the compliment Stevenson out of the backfield. And again, as Headley mentioned, Justin Fields is part of this deal. So we're going to take the the explosive nature of Justin Fields' game, uh, make sure that he's protected, give him a legitimate receiver one in Roma Dunze, and then we're going to continue to play good defense. All right? And then I believe this team, if I'm not mistaken, they're in pretty good shape from a cap perspective. So they should be aggressive in free agency as well. Where, where did we go wrong in this one? That's, that's what I want to know. I don't think we went wrong. Uh, yeah, I think we, I think we were meticulous in this and, and doing the right thing, uh, trying to get this team some weapons, trying to sure some things up on the offensive line. 
What uh, could we have done better then? Let me let me ask it that way. Uh, oh yeah, we, we laid down with the receiver thing, right? That's not that wasn't necessarily our fault, oh, yeah, but yeah. I think I think we missed out on the receiver. We tried mm-hmm. to make that up with Jaheim Bell. So maybe a Malachi Corley. I think that's what you were trying to aim for. He probably was. He went ended up going to Green Bay. Uh, Jake. We had to get back in the third round in order to get the receiver that we coveted. So we probably would have lost Blake Fisher and maybe Jaheim Bell to do that, or at least mm-hmm. Blake Fisher, and then maybe no. some picks for next year. Yeah, if we did, without the trade up, it was either. Remember, we had that decision uh, with three guys: a receiver, Kitchens, and Doorless, and we went Kitchens mm-hmm. and Doorless. So right. it was around that area right there that you know it could have been uh, Corley with a Kitchens or Corley with a Doorless. Um, but we chose to go two defenders and, and miss the trade-off opportunity to get Corley. You know, I, I take it back to the trade, the initial trade, right, at, at the very top. And, and the Giants have those two second-round picks. And, I, I excuse me, the, the, the likelihood of being able to get a second-round pick in 2024 and the first round in 2025, probably it, it probably doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way. So, you make a decision, you know, of course you're allowing a team to trade up into the top three in order to select the quarterback. So you want to get a first round pick back, but considering things, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have that second round pick, right? It would have been nice because you still have your first round pick, your own first round pick next year. And then of course we would use that additional second round pick in 2025 to acquire Justin Fields. So that that I think changes the dynamic. I think in that instance, we're able to actually get Cameron Kitchens, Doorless, or or two of those immediate impact defenders that we think are available in day two, as well as add a receiver. That's my only thought process there. But of course, we do have the first round pick to work with in 2025, Luther Burden or something like that, hopefully.